All right, you guys. Uh, I do apologize. I had to uh, uh, discuss uh, discuss the matter with uh, with Verbling uh, briefly before I got got into class. So we are we are ready uh, ready to go now. Though uh, this hour is a vocabulary hour. Okay, we are going to be talking about uh, sport action words. Okay, jumping, throwing, catching. Okay, hopping, all right, running, skipping. All right, things like that. Uh, all the uh, the uh, different actions that that, uh, that you can do in uh, in sports. Okay, so that's uh, that's what we are uh, we're going to be talking about. The uh, link for this hour, okay, is located right here. Let me get it and get it for you in just one second. Okay, it's located right there. Uh, go ahead and uh, and open that up. Uh, when you get a chance, okay, and uh, let's see, let's go ahead and see who we have in class so far. Hello, Medium, how are you? Hello, I'm fine. Great, welcome to class. Where are you from? I'm from in Spain. From Spain, fabulous. Yeah. All right, good to have you here. Uh, sorry? Uh, good to have you here. Welcome to class. Mm, thanks. Uh, okay. Uh, how about uh, Juan Carlos? How are you? Hey, man. Okay. How are cool. You? I'm doing good. Hey, uh, Juan, did you see Iron Man 3? Yeah. Did hey. you like it? Oh, my God. I love it. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, I thought it was, I thought it was really good. Um, we, went and, uh, we went and saw it this last weekend. It was really cool. Oh really? Yeah. Um, have you uh, have you seen the movie Oblivion? Oh no, I didn't. Oh my god, I need to watch it. <laughs> it's a uh, both of the movies were really good, really it's good. Like Wally, but Tom, but with Tom Cruise. Exactly like Wally. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah, it was it was it was pretty cool. I, I actually liked it a lot. Very cool. Welcome to class. Uh, let's see. Halwani, welcome back. How are you? I'm doing good. Doing very good. Uh, let's see. Also, uh, Gerardo, how are you? Fine. Hello again. Hi there. Good to, good to have you back in class. All right. How about uh, Amir? How are you? Hi. Hi, teacher. How are you? I am fine. Thank you. I'm great, great, good to have you here. Thank uh, you. Let's thank see. You. Uh, how about uh, Juan David? Juan David, are you there? Hi, Chad. How are you? I'm doing good. Now, is this a is this a date that you had recently, or is that your girlfriend? Mm, I don't know. It's just a friend. <laughs> okay. Work, work fast. Make her your girlfriend. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, welcome, welcome to class. Good to have you here. Thank you. All right. How about uh, Lamia? How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I I'm doing great. Welcome to class. Thank you. All right. How about uh, Lorenzo? How are you? Fine, and you? I'm doing great, thank you. Welcome back to class. Good to see you again. Yes, <laughs> thanks. All right, and uh, uh, Zakaria, how are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm doing great. Um, now, uh, did I pronounce your name uh, correctly? Is it uh, Zakaria or is it uh, Zakaria? Zakaria. Zakaria, okay, very good. Uh, Zakaria, where are you from? I'm from Yemen. From Yemen. Okay, fabulous. All right, you guys. Uh, welcome to class. My name is Teacher Chad, and uh, I am from the United States, uh, but I currently live in Costa Rica. Uh, my uh, 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 my lesson is, uh, or the link to my lesson is here in the chat box right now. 
At least I think so. Okay, there we go. It just popped in. Okay, so please open that up. Okay, all you need to do is uh, is select here. So uh, if you're here in class, go right here to this link. Okay, and click on it just like that. Okay, and it'll open up so that you can see the, the words that we're going to be looking at. Okay? All right. So okay. let's uh, let's uh, go ahead and start off. Okay, and we're gonna we're okay. gonna scroll down here. Okay, and uh, this hour we're going to start on the uh, the right hand side. Okay, and start off with uh, Zakaria. Okay, now we've gone through uh, we went through a lot of these words last hour, or the the last time I did the class. Uh, so. Um, we're starting off right here, okay, with this word, okay. Um, go ahead and uh, and read this word for me, okay. Oh yeah, let me let me tell you, class. So, um, what we're going to do? I do apologize. Uh, we're going to uh, read through uh, read through these uh, action words, these sport action words, okay. Then I would like for you to use them in a sentence. Okay, so I'll have you read them. We'll, we'll discuss it a little bit. Then I would like to use it in a sentence. So, for example, if I was to look at, okay, if I was to uh, read this word, I would say kneel. Okay, this word is kneel. The K is silent. Kneel. kneel. Okay, kneel. and uh, how I would use this word in a sentence, I would say, uh, in my uh, exercises this morning, Okay, I would kneel down to pick up the weights. Okay, so I would kneel down. So I'd bend down like this, and I would grab the weights with my hands and then lift them up. Okay, so that would be a sentence that I that I would use. So Zakaria, let me have you uh, uh, take a look here at this word, please. Go ahead and read the word, and uh, let's have you use it in a sentence. I believe up. Every morning. Okay. Yes, it's a, a leg up. Okay, and uh, Zacharia said, "I do leg ups." Okay, so now we would have to add an S there. Okay, I do leg ups. Every morning. Every morning. Great. Okay. Now, uh, 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 let's see, Zacharia, what does it look like if you were to do leg ups? Like this, uh, what uh, part of the body are you exercising? Are you exercising your legs, okay, your arms, mm. or your stomach? Stomach, stomach. Yeah, your stomach, okay, because you lift your legs up like this and it works mm. out your stomach. Okay, excellent, fabulous. All right, class, let's, uh, let's go down to page number two. All right, our next word here, and uh, this is for uh, medium. Yes. Okay, uh, go ahead and read this word, please. Um, I. No, just read it. Uh, yeah, just go ahead and read it. Read it first. Um, every day, I. Uh, lay down uh, for um, four hours. Okay, for four hours? Yes. Um, okay. Okay, good. Yes, yeah, so the word is lie down. So every day she says she lies down for four hours. Now, class, um, what kind of uh, what kind of exercise Okay, would we uh, would we uh, actually lie down in? Can anyone think of uh, think of an exercise? Mm. No, I don't. How cold. about yoga? Okay. Yoga. So in yoga, yes, there well there are there are positions. Okay, positions where you actually lie down. Okay, and rest uh, rest on the ground. All right, and it's a it's a position. It's a, it's to clear your mind. Okay, it's a, a yoga position. 
Okay, to lie down. Uh, when else can we lie down, class? When you are when you sleep. Really sleepy. Good. When you are really in sleepy. Your in your bed. Good. Uh, who who likes to lie down and watch TV? I think everyone. Oh yes, I think everybody. Right. <laughs> Good. Yes, lying down and watching TV. That's the best. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you. Let's With go a to rainy day. on a rainy day, especially. Very cool. Let's go to Lorenzo. And Lorenzo, your word. Lift. Okay. Lift. Okay. And what does it look like? She is lifting there, Lorenzo. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, what is she lifting? Ah, she's lifting a, a box, a wide box. Good. She's lifting a a a wide box. Now, uh, what other things can we lift? Bag. A bag. Good. What else? And when you're talking about sports, okay. How about uh, how about lifting weights? Weights. Dumbbell. Okay. Weightlifting, yeah. Dumbbells. Okay, dumbbells. You have the barbells as well. Okay, so weight lifting. Okay. So yeah, weightlifting. This is this would be weightlifting, you guys. Okay, doing all these different types of lifting. Okay, putting the bar on your back, you can bend down and then and then stand up. Okay, using your arms. Okay, bench pressing with your with your chest and your arms. Okay, that is a bench press. Okay, very good. Yes, yeah, so that that would be lifting. Okay, and uh, here you can see um, this is actually professional lifting. Okay, and this looks to be about 405 pounds. Okay, 405 pounds. Each of these, I believe, are probably 20.2 kilos. Wow. Yeah, so uh, very, very heavy. Uh, the most I could do was actually um, two of these plates. So two here and then half of one of these. I couldn't do four. But I have, I have pushed, put this much weight on my back. And then squatted down. Okay, I put it on my back like that, and then squatted down just like that guy. That's when I was a, a, a heavy weight lifter. That's what I used to do. Okay, very cool. So, um, Lorenzo, uh, can you use this uh, this uh, word in a sentence for me, please? Every morning I lift a uh, two thousand kilos of uh, weight. Uh, of weight, uh, I don't remember the the word. Of lift weight. Okay. Of uh, I I lift uh, I do uh, I lift two thousand pound or two thousand kilos of weights. Is how you could say that. Okay. I lift two thousand kilos of weights. There you go. Every morning. Good. Every morning. That's amazing. <laughs> 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 okay, so yeah, so lifting, lifting weights, lifting it straight up, okay, you can use your arms to do it, things like that, okay, good, all right, uh, yes, uh, lift, uh, um, it's like a uh, hold, um, you, you can, you can lift and hold, uh, if you, uh, um, the, the actual, the actual movement of picking something up, okay, mm -hmm. that is lift, Okay, um, uh, to lift it. Okay, mm -hmm. but to walk. Okay, and if you are holding something in your arms, okay, that would be holding. So walk and hold. It's a little different. Okay, mm -hmm. but we, so so if you are moving something from from here, so it's in my hand, and you will do this this motion right here. This is called picking up or lifting up. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. lifting. Picking up, okay. Uh, that's a good question, though. Okay, but if you hold it in one place, if you're if you're sustaining it, 
Okay, that would be uh, to hold. Okay, thank you. Okay, good, good question. Uh, let's go to our next word here. This is for uh, Lamia. And, yes, sir. Uh, your word is. Okay, uh, right here. <laughs> okay, Lamia? Yes. Okay, um, please read this word. Bus. Bus. Yeah, the word is pass. Pass. Yeah. Pass. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Lamia, what are they passing? What is this? Play the hot bells. Hot okay. bells. Okay. This is actually uh, this is actually an American football. Football. Yeah. Okay. Now that's an American football. That's it's different. Different. It's a. Uh, it's different than than a regular football. Now, um, when you when you kick a soccer ball or a football to uh, to a teammate or someone, that is also called passing. Okay, so you can pass the ball by kicking the ball. Okay, not necessarily by throwing it with your hands. Okay, but you can kick the ball too. Okay, so kicking, you can pass it. Now, uh, class, what other sports can we pass the ball or uh, pass football. the object? What's that? Football. Football, good. Basketball. Basketball, good. Handball. Handball, Handball good. Handball. All right. Uh, what's, the, what's that, Lamia? Handball. Handball, good. Handball. Right. Handball. Uh, that would be that would be called polo, water polo. Uh, yes, yes. Volleyball. Volleyball, good. So water polo, okay. Um, volleyball. All right. Um, now uh, hockey. Hockey uses a puck. Okay, it's called a puck, but you can also pass the puck. Okay, with the with the stick. Okay, you can pass the puck. All right, so in most sports uh, that use an object of play, you you pass that to another teammate. There's usually a way to do that. Okay, so yes, to pass the ball. Pass the ball or pass the puck. Okay, very good. Uh, let's, uh, let's see. Lamia, uh, can you use the word pass in a sentence, please? Okay. Okay, please use the word in a sentence. Okay, um, uh, Lamia, do you need help with your sentence? I play the handball. Okay, so you play handball, but we need to use this word right here, the word pass yes pass okay so how can we use that word pass in a sentence the pass uh... all right let me help you here and this will be a simple sentence they pass the ball to each other Okay, they pass the ball to each other. Please repeat that, Lamia. They pass the ball to each other. Yeah, so that would be to each, to each other. To each other. Good, good, nice job, thank you. Uh, thank let's you. go to uh, uh, Juan David. And uh, your yes. word? Pitch. Uh, yes, pitch. Now make sure, uh, make sure Juan David to use a, a short I sound there. P pitch. 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 Use what? A short I. Pitch. Uh, yeah, this I uh, would not be pronounced like a Spanish I. We would not say peach. 
Okay, a peach uh -huh. would be uh, would be a fruit. That would be durazno. That would be a fruit. Okay, if you say pitch, peach, now you want to say pi pitch. Okay, now pitch. What what is pitch? What is to pitch? What is he doing here? To pitch. It is to launch. Good. To yes. Launch to launch something. Yeah, throw to something. launch something. something. Okay, so yeah, or to throw it as well. Okay. All right, and uh, what uh, what game? What game has a a uh, do they pitch the ball? American football. Like like the image okay. baseball. Uh, yes, like the image that would be baseball. Now, class in American football, we throw we throw the ball. Okay, this yes, action okay. is called a uh, pitch. Okay, and it's usually in in baseball. Okay. Okay. So we have a pitcher just like this. So he stands here on what's called a mound, and he pitches the ball. Mm -hmm. Okay, they take a wide step out, and then they throw it as hard and as accurate as they can. Mm -hmm. And that is a, that is, they are called a pitcher. Okay? Um, now, in American football, we have a quarterback, a quarterback, and he, he comes back and he throws, he throws the ball. So it's a little different. Yes, to pitch is to throw or to launch, but... Uh, we normally use that use that word when we're talking about baseball. Okay, in football, if he's to pitch the ball, he would usually throw it underhand. Okay, he throws it underhand and not overhand. Okay, so overhand is like this. Underhand is when it's under like that. Okay, so there's two different ways okay. to throw the ball. Okay. So you can uh, just very, use it with baseball. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, not necessarily. There is a uh, there's a, a pitch in in football, okay. It, but it's a it's like a quarterback or a uh, uh, um, a tailback pitch, okay. Um, mm -hmm. It's an it's an actual play. It's a play that they do. But usually, if the quarterback has the ball and he's throwing it, okay, that he's he's throwing the ball. He wouldn't be pitching it. Okay. okay. So in most cases. You would only use the word pitch with uh, with baseball, all right? So, can you use that uh, that word pitch for me in a sentence, David or Juan David? Okay, I made one. I okay. Let me read it. I pitched the ball to my window neighbor. Okay, so, <laughs> so I I pitched uh, I pitched. Okay, so it, it would be yeah. uh, past tense. Yes. I pitched the ball. Okay, now what you would say is through. Okay, my my neighbor's window. So through. Uh, and through my neighbor's win uh, my neighbor's window. Okay, yeah, just like that. So I wrote that in there. So I pitched the ball through my neighbor's window, which yes. means you broke you broke their window, right? Yes, now I don't know what I say, window neighbor. <laughs> it's okay. okay. It's okay. My neighbor's window. Okay, fabulous. Thank you. Uh, let's go Let's go to uh, Juan Carlos. Oh, yes. What's up? I, I have a question. Uh, what's the name of the player who catches the ball in baseball? Uh, they are called a catcher. Catcher, okay. Whoops, not catcher. Sorry. It's catcher. I needed another CH in there. Just like that. Catcher. Okay, thank you. Okay. Sure. All right, let's go to uh, Juan Carlos. Okay, teacher. And let me uh, scroll over really quick and then come down. All right, now, your word here. Okay, what is that word? Go ahead and read that, please. Who? All right, now this is going to be a short U sound. So instead of saying pool, we would say pole, ol, pole. Pool. There, that's it. Pull. Okay. Now, um, what uh, what kind of uh, what kind of sports uh, would require us to pull? I have no idea. I mean, I know in Spanish, but I don't know how to call it in English. Okay. Uh, what would it be in Spanish? 
Ajá, ah, eh, no, no, no se jala la cuerda. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, it's a, it would be I here and where I've heard that before. It's a, used in a in a, a different way. <laughs> a pull system for companies. Yeah. So um, yes, this is this would be called um, uh, uh, pull the rope. Okay, or tug tug of war. Okay, that's a that's another uh, another name. So it's a, a game that uh, that people play. That's called tug of war. Okay, so I'll I'll show you real quick. How do you spell it? Okay, so uh, right here is how you spell it. Whoops. Okay, tug of war, just like that. Tug of war. Okay. And uh, class, this is what it. Uh, this is what it looks like. Okay, so you see this uh, this team here. Okay, these guys are all competing competing against uh, someone that's on the opposite side. Okay, this is another shot of. Uh, oh, that's pretty small. Sorry. Um. Yeah. So you usually have two teams just like this. Okay, one team on this side and another team on the other side, mm -hmm. and usually there's going to be water or uh, or mud or something like that in the middle. So if you lose, your whole team falls in the mud or in the water. Okay, and uh, that's a it's a game that people play. Okay, to pull. All right, and they fall in fall in uh, the mud or something like that. Okay. And uh, sometimes they have professional teams. Uh, for the most part, uh, you do it in the military, you do it in school, okay, things like that. Okay. Now you also have uh, other exercises. Okay. What uh, what kind of exercises would we need to pull? Okay. We have exercises where we push, uh -huh. right? Okay. So we push like this. All right. What about pulling? So if we're hanging like that and we pull straight up, that's called a pull up. Okay, pull up. Yeah, a pull up. So if you're hang you're hanging from a bar just like this, and you pull yourself up. Okay. okay. So you pull yourself up to to about right here or to to there, or you put your chin over the bar. Okay. That would be that would be a pull up. You can pull up like this. You can pull up uh, backhanded. So so coming like that. Okay. Either way would be uh, a uh, well. This way would be a pull up. This way would be a chin up. So if your your hands are are to the back, that would be a chin up. It is similar to lift. Um, With lift, it, uh, it it would be if you are if you are doing a pull up. Okay, you're lifting. Okay, you're lifting your body into the air. Okay, you're lifting your body up off the ground. Okay, and then lifting and holding yourself and then coming back down. That that would be a pull up. Okay, yes, it would be similar to lift. Okay, but there's other ones where you would hold uh, you'd hold the weight like this and you pull into your into your body and that works that works your back. Okay, most pulling exercises are going to be for your back. Okay, okay. Uh, you could uh, you could also tie a rope to your body and run. Okay, and you would be pulling something, but that would work your legs. Okay, that's another uh, another uh, another way to um, exercise. So pulling is really good for your for your body as well. Yes, you'd need to push, but also pull and come back in. Okay. Okay. Um, very good. Let's uh, let's go to uh, hi uh, hi Alpha, or oh, is it Hiafa? Hiafa. Haifa. Haifa. Sorry about that. Haifa. Sorry about that. Okay, Haifa. Um, let's see. This this right here. Okay. Uh, please uh, please use this uh, or please uh, repeat this word here. Uh, push the box. Okay. Push. Push. Please, yeah. Push. Now, class. Push. The the S H. The S H. Makes a shh sound. Push. push, push. That's how we pronounce that. 
Of yeah, course. good. And uh, and how can you use that in a sentence? Um, I am boost the door. The door. Uh, yes, I push open the door. So I push open the door. And uh, uh, Wahid, I, I don't know what gas lift means. I I've well, never heard that term before. Uh, so yeah, I apologize. I'm not sure what gas lift would, would mean specifically. Uh, but yeah, so uh, push. Okay, you can push open the door. Okay, what other things can you push? Class? Okay, in, uh, in football, okay, in football, they, they, they hit together, and the one job is to push the other player out of the way. Okay, um, what, what, other sports, what other sports do they push in? Can you, can you push in, uh, in uh, soccer, in soccer, football? Mm, no, you can't. No, you can't. Okay. Um, uh, are there any other uh, sports that you guys can think of where you can push? How about hockey? You can push in hockey. I don't know. Okay. Uh, there, there aren't very many. There really aren't very many. Uh, rugby, definitely. Yes. Definitely. Definitely rugby. Okay. All right, very cool. Let's go to Halwani. Yes. And yes. Halwani, yes. Uh, our next word, please. Go ahead and read that, please, Halwani. Okay, let's go to um, uh, Gerardo. Please read that word. Push-ups. Yeah, and this is going to be a short U sound. So instead of saying push-ups, okay, it would be push, push-ups. Push-ups. There you go, one more time, push-ups. Push-ups. Great. Now, um, when, uh, when can you do uh, uh, push-ups? When would it be... Uh, um, what sport or what activity could we do push-ups in? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Only when you when you go to the gym and, and okay, do exercise. When you go to the gym, for example. Okay, when you do exercise. All right. How about uh, um, what's that? I think sweet exercise. Okay. All right. Looks like uh, someone's getting upset. Um, yeah. So uh, um, yes, yeah, some some uh, physical exercises when you're in the gym. Okay. Uh, what about uh, um, uh, karate? Okay, are there any karate moves that are done from the ground? Maybe uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu? Okay. I don't know what was is karate. Oh, okay. Karate. Yes. Yeah, karate yeah. Uh, may have some moves that are done on the ground, and you would need to uh, uh, maybe uh, push up or something like that. Um, Brazilian jiu-jitsu may use, uh, may use uh, uh, some type of push-up move or or things like that okay yeah. Uh, but yeah more specifically uh, we would definitely do uh, do push-ups uh, in the gym or at home when we're exercising uh, when we do something that's called calisthenics okay calisthenics would be warm-ups warm -ups. Okay. okay things like that now um, uh, Gerardo can you use that word in a sentence for me mm. Uh, every day when I get up, I used to do uh, 30 push-ups. Push there you go. Every day. Nice. Good Good for you. Yeah, so every day when I, when I would wake up, I used to do 50, or sorry, 30 push-ups. Okay, great. Yeah. Hey, nice sentence. Uh, let's go to uh, Amir. Yes. 
All right, Ahmed. Uh, our next question here, or our next word. Reach. Okay. Reach. Yeah, so reach. That's when that's when you stretch. You stretch your whole body out. Okay, you stretch your whole body out uh, to tr try to try and grab something. So you reach back and you try and grab it. Okay, all right. Or you jump really high. You jump really high and you grab something. All right. Uh, so uh, what's what sport is uh, is this uh, boy playing? Here? What sport is he playing? Uh, uh, volleyball. Okay. This is actually frisbee. Okay, frisbee. This is an interesting, uh, interesting sport. Okay, so this is a frisbee. It's shaped like a disc or like a plate. And uh, you see this guy right here? He would be mm. reaching. Though he's reaching mm -hmm. to the side, he's jumping and he's reaching for it. Okay, uh, dogs also play frisbee. Okay, uh, I had a dog that would play frisbee. Okay, this is another really good picture. You see how they're jumping and they're reaching. Okay, um, now Ahmed, what other sports? What other sports would you reach in? You said volleyball. That's a that's a good one, definitely. Uh, any other sports that you can think of? Mm, mm, uh, handball. A handball? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. What? What else? Water polo. A water polo. Good. How about uh, how about tennis as well? Yes, tennis. Okay, water polo. All right. Uh, tennis. Okay, good. Yeah. So there's there's a a, a lot of different uh, uh, different sports. Also, American football, rugby would be another one. Okay. Yes. Good. Uh, the goalkeeper in uh, in in uh, soccer or in football. Mm. All right. Yeah. So there's a lot of different different ways. Uh, go ahead and uh, let's have you use that word in a sentence. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, uh, goalkeeper uh, reach reach is, is a pole and uh, um, uh, stop stop the stop uh, the pole uh, for um, uh, go, going is uh, to go go to go to the the pole. Okay, good. So the goalkeeper, and we would say reaches. Reach. Okay, okay. The goalkeeper reaches for the ball and stops. Uh, going okay so let me have you repeat that so the goalkeeper reaches for the ball okay I put this in the chat box for you okay the goalkeeper reaches for the ball and stops it from going into the goal please repeat that goalkeeper. Uh, the goalkeeper reaches for the ball and stops it for going into the goal Okay, yeah, instead of for going, it's from going into the goal. Okay. Okay, great. Thank you. Uh, let's go to uh, Samir. Oh, let's see. Uh, Halwani, is your microphone working? Yes, Chad. Yes. There you go. All right, let's, uh, let's see here. Uh, All right. So, yes, serve. Okay. Now, uh, what uh, what sport is she playing here? Tennis. She's playing tennis. Now, can you think of any other of any other times when uh, when we would uh, use the word serve? In volleyball. In volleyball. Good. Okay. When else would we serve serve the ball? Paddle. Paddle. Excellent. Uh, also, uh, there's another sport that's called racquetball. Okay, racquetball. Um, yeah, so racquetball is uh, similar to uh, to uh, like paddle ball or things like that. 
Okay, um, but it's played inside of a room. Think glass. Yeah, and it's a, it has glass. Okay, in most cases, uh, this is what racquetball looks like. Okay, so you have uh, you have uh, a court. Okay, a court that looks like this. Okay, you have walls all around you, and you can play. You can play with four members. Okay, or you can play with two. But this right here, this is the service box. So this is where you serve serve the ball from. Okay, and it's a it's an elongated okay room that's like this. Okay, and that is uh, that's racquetball. Okay, racquetball is very fun. So that's another game where you could serve. And uh, and really, I th uh, think uh, any time that you use, um, it would be similar to squash. Squash is played in the same type of room. Okay, uh, okay. but the rules are just a little bit different. Okay, uh, very very good comparison though. So yes, it's it's uh, very similar to squash, but a little different. Uh, ping pong as well. Yes, Lorenzo, uh, you would also serve the ball in ping pong. So really, whenever you have a racket or a paddle or something in your hand, and you are hitting a ball to someone else, okay, uh, that we would usually use the word serve there. Okay. Now, Halwani, can you use the word serve in a sentence for us? So uh, when I uh, play uh, with uh, my friends, instead of uh, okay, say that say that one more time. I could barely hear you. When when I play with uh, my uh, when I, when I play tennis with my friends, I serve a good. Okay, you serve it good. Yeah, so when you when you were playing, and, and I didn't get this the sport, I think you said table tennis. Uh, you serve it good. Okay, good. Yeah, that's a, that's a that's a good way to use that word. Thank you, Hadwani. Okay, let's go to uh, Samir. And let's uh, check out a word for you. Okay, our next word, Samir, is right here, please. Uh, yes, sure. uh, go ahead and, and read the word, please. Shoot. Excellent. Yes, that is shoot. To shoot. All right. And uh, what sport is he playing here, Samir? Uh, I think he's playing the basketball. Excellent. Yes, he is playing basketball. Okay. And uh, and so <clears throat> when uh, when you shoot the shoot the ball, what is the objective? What do you want to accomplish by shooting the ball? Uh, to get a point. Good, yes, to get a point, and you get a point by making it into this small, this small uh, basket. Uh, basket here. Okay. Yes. Good, yes, that is that is called to shoot. Okay. Uh, uh, what other sports can we shoot in? Football. Um, football, uh, yeah, with soccer, yeah, you could shoot the ball, okay, or kick it, all right, uh, uh, hockey, hockey is a, is a sport where we shoot, Handball. okay, shoot the puck, I'm not sure if in handball if they use the, if we use the word shoot to describe that. Uh, maybe, but I'm not. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, teacher. Okay. Uh, but definitely, uh, definitely hockey, definitely basketball. Yes. Uh, I want to ask you, teacher. Yes. What is your question? Uh, uh, what is the di different difference between shoot and I hear another word, uh, uh, dribble? What is the difference? Um, okay. Okay. So dribble. A uh, dribble is is running and bouncing the ball. Okay, that's running and bouncing the ball, or or running, running and okay. kicking the ball. Like uh, pass, pass the ball. You can uh, what we can call to pass in uh, uh, in basketball. You know when you when you dribble. 
Okay. Yeah. When you pass the ball, you throw that to someone else. Okay. It's the same as in as in football. You would kick uh, the I ball think, to someone I think else. Fin, All right. Fin, um, doing fin. It's like uh, dribbling. Uh, say that one. Fin. Say that one more time. Fin. 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 Um. If you. Fin. Uh, can you type that word in the uh, in the chat box, chat box, please? Because I'm I'm not getting it. I'm hearing fend, and that that is a word, but it's uh, it's more like uh, fend for yourself or defend yourself. When you pass the ball okay. in basketball, we use the expression uh, uh, throw throw the ball. Try. Uh, yes, you can you can throw the ball. Okay, you can throw the ball. You can also pass the ball, but that's when you when you're giving the ball to someone else all right it's the same in football if you kick the ball in uh, and give it to another one of your teammates you are passing the ball yes okay but now if we're talking about shooting okay shooting is for making points yes okay to make a point uh, or a goal okay uh, that's the uh, that the purpose of shooting okay to make a point or a goal so you wouldn't shoot the ball okay if you're passing it to them okay that, use, that would not be shooting we can use dribble in football uh, yes just yes in basketball you can you can use dribble in in uh, soccer as well or football okay not american football but uh, normal everywhere around the world football okay in okay. football you run uh, run and kick the ball, but you pass. You do not pass. You have control of the ball. So you're kicking it from one foot to another like this, okay? Yeah. All right, and you're running or the same foot, okay? And you're, and you're kind of kicking it, but you maintain control. That is called dribbling, okay? Uh, same thing with basketball. That is called dribbling, okay? But you maintain control, okay. all right? Very good. Now, um, let me have you use that word "shoot" in a uh, in a sentence, please, Samir. Uh, uh, Michael Jordan uh, shooting the 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 shot the ball, shot the last point. Okay, I right, he shoots the last point. Okay, so if you're you're talking about someone else, okay, and we're talking about in third person, he shoots. You would need to add an s. He shoots the last point. All right, and that would be exciting if he did that. He shoots the last point. Okay. What we what we can say to the third three point in basketball if you shoot? Um, it's a three pointer. A three, yeah, a three, a three pointer. Okay, that's the that's the uh, uh, the amount there. Three pointer. Okay, excellent. All right, let's uh, let's see. Let's go to uh, medium. Yeah. All right, medium. Uh, our next. Uh, uh -huh. Our next one here. Go ahead and read that, please. Uh, yes. Uh, it um, um, similar uh, uh, leg ups, but it um, lift uh, your back, no? Yeah, you lift your back up off the ground. Okay, and uh, can you read this word for me? What is what is that called? Uh, uh, sit up. Good. Yes, sit ups. Sit ups. Sit up. Okay, and uh, in what part of your body do you exercise when you do a sit-up, medium? Um, um, a stomach. Yes, your stomach. 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 Great. Yes. Yeah, so sit-ups are 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 exercises for your stomach muscles. Okay. Now, uh, medium, can you use the word sit-ups in a uh, sentence for me, please? Mm, okay. Um, uh, when I go to gyms, I 
I, um, I see that uh, about uh, three or oh, four minutes. Okay, so um, let's see here. Okay, so um, uh, here uh, you had said when I go to the gym. Um, now, what you what we use is we use the verb do. Okay, I do sit ups for about three or four minutes, and I put your okay. answer right there in the chat box. And we do sit ups. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's the verb that we use with that. We do them. So let me have you uh, repeat this sentence here down down below in the chat box. Go ahead and read that, please. And um, when I go to the gym, I do sit up for about three or four minutes. Okay, good. Yeah, I do sit ups for about three or four minutes. Okay, fabulous. All right, thank you, you guys. Okay, so we we are, are at about uh, one minute left. Okay, uh, thank you for for coming to class. Uh, the rest uh, we have maybe uh, four four or five uh, pictures left here, and you can take a look at that. Um, and they're they're pretty self-explanatory on on what they mean and and what uh, what we do with them. Okay, uh, so I hope uh, um, you are able to uh, take some notes. Okay, you can take a look at my earlier class today uh, to see the other words that we went through and the different sentences that we can use with them. Okay, so uh, thank you for coming in. My next uh, class is an advanced speaking class. All right, and uh, um, I will. Uh, I won't have any more classes tonight because today is my wife's birthday, and uh, we're going to be uh, uh, celebrating and uh, hanging out a little bit and having some dinner. So thank you guys for for coming. We'll see you later. Thank Bye. you. Thanks. Bye. 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 Bye.